Hey there, I'm here to show you a, the hoogle bed and the bees and the mushrooms under the trees. <laughs> so the hoogle culture is a gardening method in which you bury logs with soil and sod turned upside down and compost and straw and you plant right into it and over the course of its lifespan which could be over 10 years the wood gives off nutrients it holds on to water like a sponge providing the plants with a lot of moisture and gives you basically nice fertile soil for 10 years without digging so while using a waste product uh, in this in this case we used logs that were lying around the property some were rotting some were fresh from a tree that had just fallen over and um, and what we did was we planted we planted potatoes around the lower third of the hoogle bed and we planted onions and uh, leaves on the very top and we've been sprinkling in other plants in the gaff such as sweet potatoes and uh, chard and we just seeded some radishes and carrots and so it's kind of an experiment it's the first we just made this a month ago and we've got it growing like crazy um, and over the course of its life we might plant other things as it gets older uh, as the as the fertility starts to decline that's uh, contained in the in the uh, logs um, but right now there should be a lot of fertility. We put in a lot of compost over the logs, packed it in there, and mulched it and planted it. So that's a little bit about hugel culture, which basically means wood culture, and inspired by the great Sepp Holzer. And I highly recommend you look him up. He has great examples of this all over the world, um, including in Montana. There's a about a mile long series of hugel beds at one particular farm that he uh, he directed. Over here we have a single honey bee hive with the Langstroth uh, boxes. These are deeps and uh, we just installed a nuke about a week ago and this is an experiment for us because in California I was used to installing a swarm of bees in around March, April. And here uh, in the northern latitudes we started this with a nuke in, uh, in June. So it's a little bit of a late start but there, there's food everywhere. There's, we're letting the clover grow and other flowers um, natural to this area and the bees are building it very quickly. I started with one box, but after, uh, you know, five days or so, they had already drawn out comb towards the uh, sides of the box, so I had to give them some space. So that's the bees, really excited about the bees. They are pollinating our garden, which will lead to bigger and more plentiful fruits and veggies. And over here, under the trees, under the edge of the forest, in a nice shady spot, we inoculated a bed of hardwood wood chips uh, that we got locally. We inoculated it with Keenstrafaria, which is a also known as wine cap mushrooms. They're edible, they're delicious, they're larger than portobellos, and they will produce for years to come so long as we keep feeding it with wood chips. Um, so the great thing about Keenstrafaria next to a beehive is that bees naturally will harvest mycelium and boost their immune system so with the mycelium and uh, Paul Stamets is the inspiration behind growing uh, Keenstrafaria and mushrooms by a beehive um, and you should definitely check out his work with uh, with in Washington State regarding feeding bees mushroom extracts including reishi and amadou uh, in order to boost their immune system and uh, reduce the, the amount of disease in a beehive, which is really promising and uh, I hope um, more people learn about it. So 
Thanks for the brief tour, coming to the brief tour of our little uh, corner of the garden here.